Hey bud, come here. What's going on guys? Back at it again today. Heading to the gym in a few minutes. I'm gonna hit day three. It's a hypertrophy program. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. What's going on you guys? Coming back again with day three of the hypertrophy program. Guys, I forgot to film my warm up today. I'm so sorry, but since I'm deadlifting, I do do the same warm up that I do on leg day. So if you missed day one of this program, make sure to head back in our videos and check out day one. Uh, I use the same dynamic warm up that I do on day one as I do on day three. Um, I am making a dynamic warm up video for you guys it's coming soon, so stay tuned for that. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for it, so I'm going to make a nice video about that, explaining the benefits and why I think everybody should be doing one. Um, so as you guys can see here, day three starts off with deadlifts. I'm working off a deficit today. I just threw a 100 pound plate on the ground, so it gave me about a 2-3 inch deficit to be pulling off of. Uh, these are my warm up sets, they move pretty good. Uh, I worked with 365 pounds today for three sets of three. Wasn't trying to go too heavy, wasn't trying to push it too much. Uh, I'm working with deficit deadlifts to help with my speed off the floor, okay? Guys, deadlifting is probably, not probably, it is my strongest movement. Um, but my weak point in my deadlift is definitely ripping the weight off the floor. Uh, I need to become faster at that. If I can get the weight two inches off the ground, I know for a fact that I'm locking it out but just getting the weight off the floor is where I have a hard time. So that's why I threw deficits into this program. And guys, if you're new at deadlifting, I wouldn't suggest doing deficit deadlifts. Work on getting your form down first uh, and become a little bit more advanced and a little more confident in your deadlift before you throw these into your program. So if you're a new deadlifter, don't do these. Work with the three by three with normal deadlifts and just keep nailing that form. Um, so after deficit deadlifts, we move into Seated dumbbell shoulder press, as you can see here. We're going pretty heavy. Uh, four sets, six to eight reps. I work with the 70 pound dumbbells. Uh, here I'm just trying to strengthen up my shoulders, guys. I had a shoulder injury in the past, and past year or two, uh, I've been feeling pretty good, so I've been trying to build my strength back up in my shoulders because I need strong shoulders if I want to hit a 275 bench, which I am gonna hit for you guys, mostly for myself in the future, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, after seated dumbbell shoulder press, we move into a superset. We got seated lateral raises, three sets by 15 reps. Guys, I went pretty light, 15 pound dumbbells, just working on pumping some blood into my lateral delts so I can get those pumpkin delts, right? I'm trying to look like Evan, he's got some good delts. So, seated lateral raises, guys, trying not to use any momentum. Lead with your pinkies, pull with your elbows, and feel that squeeze in your lateral delt. Uh, we're supersetting these with a reverse fly, going three sets by 15 reps. Guys, your rear delt, your rear delt is a very hard muscle to feel that mind muscle connection with. So use a lightweight. I'm using 10 pound dumbbells here, just trying to feel that squeeze in my rear delt, trying to pump those up, trying to make those babies grow. Uh, next, we move into incline dumbbell curls. Guys, enough said. This is probably my favorite bicep exercise. No joke. I get crazy pumps when I do this exercise. We're going three sets by 15 reps. Really just focusing on squeezing as hard as I can at the top, controlling the weight down, trying not to let it swing back. Um, this puts your biceps in a very good position to keep tension on, on your bicep throughout the whole movement. All right, guys, this is gonna pump crazy amounts of blood into your biceps. You're not even gonna be able to wash your hair at the end of the day after this workout, okay? Moving into incline skull crushers, right into Incline skull crushers, okay? We're supersetting here. Three sets by 15. Try to focus on kind of reaching back behind your head. It's gonna put more stretch on the long head of your tricep and allow you to really focus on squeezing at the top of the movement. 
pumping some blood into the long head. Guys, the long head of your tricep is the biggest part of your tricep. If you can grow that, your arms are gonna look way bigger, okay? Way bigger. Uh, after those two movements, we move into the last superset of the day, which is a cable curl using a straight bar here. Uh, we're going two sets of 20, keeping the weight, uh, I don't wanna say too light, but not too heavy, kinda in the middle, happy medium. Something that's gonna make you kinda grind out those last three reps, okay? Really squeezing your biceps as hard as you can at the top, controlling the movement down, all right guys? Moving right into a tricep push down. Again, two sets by 20 reps. <clears throat> uh, I like to do these a little different. I kinda lean over the handle, and I like to push down and away from my body. Um, it kinda allows me to just focus on straight bicep and get a really good squeeze at the bottom. And that wraps up today's workout, guys. So stay tuned for day four. All right, guys. So that wraps up day three of the hypertrophy program. Guys, if you like this little series I got going on, please give the video a thumbs up. And let me know down in the comments below what you think. Maybe if you guys like it after this series, I'll do another one. But if you guys aren't already, please hit that subscribe button. Help our channel grow. We really appreciate it. And stay tuned for some more content coming your way.